She Walks in Beauty by, jo by Lord Byron. She walks in beauty like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies. And all that's best of dark and bright meet in her aspect and her eyes, thus mellowed to that tender light which heaven to gaudy day denies. One shade the more, one ray the less, has half impaired the nameless grace which waves in every raven tress or softly lightens o'er her face where thoughts serenely sweet express how pure, how dear their dwelling place. In all that cheek and o'er that brow, so soft, so calm, yet eloquent, the smiles that win, the tints that glow, but tell of days in goodness spent, a mind at peace with all below, a heart whose love is innocent. <laughs> April Love by Ernest Dawson. We have walked in love's land a little way. We have learnt his lesson a little while. And shall we not part at the end of day with a sigh, a smile? A little while in the shine of the sun, we were twined together, joined lips. Forgot how the shadows fall when the day is done and with love is not. We have made no vows. There will none be broke. Our love was as free as the wind on the hill. There was no word said we need wish unspoke. We have wrought no ill. So shall we not part at the end of day who have loved and lingered a little while? Join lips for the last Time. Go our way with a sigh, a smile. I too, Valley of Sneeze. I too, sing America. I am the darker brother. They send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes, but I laugh and you will and grow strong. Tomorrow, I'll be at the table when company comes. Nobody will dare say to me then. <laughs> Nobody will dare say to me then, eat in the kitchen. Then, besides, they'll see how beautiful I am and be ashamed. I <laughs> <laughs> All right. Holding Court by Jacob Science. Today, I became king of the court without a diamond encrusted crown thrust upon my sweaty head. Instead, my markings of royalty were the t shirt draping my body like a, a robe soaked in champagne and the pain in my right knee. Signs of a battle endured. My will, tested and bested by no one. <laughs> the ball, as the ball flew from my hands, as swift as an arrow towards the heart of the target. My fingers, ringless, yet feeling like gold. Someday, when trees have shed their leaves and against the morning's white, the shivering birds beneath the eaves have sheltered for the night, we'll turn our faces south with love and toward the summer isle, where bamboos spire the shafted grove and wide mouth orchids smile, and we will seek a quiet hill where towers the cotton tree and leaps the laughing crystal rill and works the droning bee. And we will build a cottage there, beside an open glade, with black-ribbed bluebells blowing near, and ferns that never fade. Wow. A 
Locked House by W.D. Snodgrass. As we drove back, crossing the hill, the house still hidden in the trees, I always thought, a fool's fear, that it might have caught fire or someone could have broken in, as if things might have been too good here. Still, we always find a lot tight, safe, and sound. I mentioned it once, as a joke. No doubt we spoke of the absurdity to fear some dour god's jealousy of our good fortune. From the farm next door, our neighbors saw no harm came to the things we cared for here. What did we have to fear? Maybe I should have thought all such things wrought, fault, barns, houses, furniture. We two are stronger than we were apart. We've grown together. Everything we own can burn. We know it counts. Some such idea we said as much. We watched friends driven to betray, felt that love drained away, some self they need. We said love, like a growth, can feed on hate we turn in in disguise. We warned ourselves that you might despise me. Hate, all we both love the best, none of us ever guessed. The house still stands locked as it stood untouched a good two years after you went. Some things passed by in the settlement, some things slipped away. Enough's left that I go back sometime. The theft and vandalism were our own. Me, we should have known. Okay. Rondo by Lee Hunt. Jenny kissed me when we met, jumping from the chair she sat in. Time, you thief, who loved to give, sweeps into your list put that in. Say I'm weary, say I'm sad, say that hope and hope miss me, say I'm growing old, but add, Jenny kissed me. Black History Month by Nikki Giovanni. If Black History Month is not viable, then wind does not carry the seeds and drop them on fertile ground. Rain does not dampen the land and encourage the seeds to root. Sun does not warm the earth and kiss the seedlings and tell them plain. You're as good as anybody else. You've got a place here too. Personal by Tony Hoagland. Don't take it personal, they said. But I did. I took it all quite personal. The breeze and the river in the color of the fields, the price of grapefruit and stamps, the wet hair of women in the rain. And I cursed what hurt me, and I praised what gave me joy. The most simple-minded of possible responses. The government reminded me of my father with its deafness and its bars. And the weather reminded me of my mom with the tropical squalls. Enjoy it while you can, they said of happiness. Think first, they said of talk. Get over it, they said of the school of broken hearts. But I couldn't, and I didn't, and I don't believe in the clean break. I believe in the compound fracture, served with the sauce of dirty regret. I believe in saying it all and taking it all back, and saying it again for good measure while the air fills up with I'm sorry, like wheeling birds, and the trees look seasick in the wind. Oh, life, can you blame me for making a scene? You were that yellow caboose, the moon, disappearing over a ridge of cloud. I was the dog, chained in some fool's backyard, barking and barking, trying to convince everything else to take it personal, too. From Space to Time, Carolyn M. Rogers. On a day when we were dark and also full of light, we met. What did we find? Nothing. Everything, when we closed our eyes, which anyway had never been opened. Once, we thought we loved each other. Who can reverse time? We tried. We stepped out of space into some new step of Houston and found.
and not in love. Fire and Dice by Robert Frost Some say the world will end in fire. Some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if I had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction, for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. America by Claude McKay. Although she feeds me bread of bitterness and sinks into my throat her tiger's tooth, stealing my breath of life, I will confess, I love this culture of hell that tests my youth. Her vigor flows like tides into my blood, giving me strength erect against her hate. Her bigness sweeps my being like a flood, yet as a rebel fronts a kingly state. I stand within her walls with not a shred of terror, malice, not a word of jeer. Darkly I gaze into the days ahead and see her might and granite wonders there beneath the touch of time's unearing hand. Like priceless treasures sinking in the sand. And you by Mary Lamb. This bows tree was not made to bear the violet bloom or lily fair nor the sweet musionette. And if this tree were discontent or wished to change its natural bent, it all in vain would fret. And should it fret, you would suppose it ne'er had seen its own red rose, nor after gentle shower had ever smelled its rosy scent, or it could ne'er be discontent with its own pretty flower. Like such a blind and senseless tree as I imagined this to be, all envious persons are. With care and culture, all may find some pretty flower in their own mind, some talent that is rare. Locked House by W.D. Snodgrass. As we drove back, crossing the hill, the house still. Hidden in the trees, I always thought a fool's fear that it might have caught fire. Someone could have broken in, as if things must have been too good here. Still, we always found it locked tight, safe and sound. I mentioned that once as a joke. No doubt we spoke of the absurdity to fear some dour god's jealousy of our good fortune. From the farm next door, our neighbors saw no harm came to the things we cared for here. What did we have to fear? Maybe I should have thought all such things wrought, fall, barns, houses, furniture. We too are stronger than we were before. We've grown together. Everything we own can burn. We know what counts. Some such idea, we said as much. We'd watched friends driven to betray, felt that love drained away. Some self they knew. We'd said love like a growth can feed on hate we turn in and disguise. We warned ourselves that you might despise me, hate all we both loved best. None of us ever guessed. The house still stands, locked as it stood, untouched a good two years after you went. Some things passed in the settlement, some things slipped away. Enough's left that I come back sometimes. The theft and vandalism were our own. Maybe we should have known. Yes. 
I too buy link CDs. I too sing America. I am the darker brother. They send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes, but I laugh and eat well and grow strong. Tomorrow, I'll be at the table when company comes. Nobody will dare say to me eat in the kitchen then. Besides, they'll see how beautiful I am and be ashamed. I too am America. <laughs> The Man He Killed by Thomas Hardy. Had he and I but met at some old ancient inn, we should have sat us down to wet right many a nipper king. But ranged as infantry and standing face to face, I shot him as he hit me and killed him in his place. I shot him dead because, because he was my foe. Just so, my foe, of course he was. That's clear enough, although. He thought he'd list, perhaps, offhand like, just as I. Was out of work. Had sold his traps. No other reason why. Yes, quaint and curious, war is you shoot a fellow down. You treat if met where any bar is. Or help to have a crown. If I could have all of our military finalists please come forward so we can take a picture of you, that would be great. If somebody can take a picture of you. Thank you.